Okay, so wel welcome to the vlog. And uh, I want to tell you a little story about how I screwed up once again, because uh, in yesterday's video, I said if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll be, I'll be putting Lambo doors on my Corvette. If this video gets 10,000 likes, I will put Lambo doors on my vet. No joke, make it happen. And it looks like I'm going to be putting Lambo doors on my Corvette. I appreciate your support and I appreciate the like. So I am a man of my word and I'm going to keep my promise. Uh, so I'm going to do some research. I'm going to do a little uh, digging. I'm going to find out which kit is best. And then I will be putting the doors uh, on the car as soon as possible. So uh, thank you all for that. If this video gets 10,000 likes, which I don't think this one's going to get as many views, but we'll see. Maybe we can uh, get a lot. Maybe we can get 10K. If it gets 10,000 likes, I will put... Uh, 2015 towing mirrors, I'm looking at my truck. I'll put the 2015 style towing mirrors on my truck. How about that? But enough about Lambo doors and Duramax parts. We are here to talk about the Corvette, which you might be able to see in the reflection of my glasses. I did in fact get new wheels for the car, but first I want to show you some footage. I'd put some weight on it before I let him out. I really would. How much of a hassle nope, we're going. What's the deal? We're going up street speed hey, 717, yeah, buddy. There she goes. These are the new drag wheels and tires, man. And they are so light. This is, I mean, it's so easy to pick up. You can do it with one hand. So it's a lot lighter than what's on there right now. It's gonna be dropping a lot of weight on each corner, which is definitely gonna help. And of course the tread. <laughs> Look at how bald that fucking rear is. <laughs> God damn. It looks sexy as fuck. All right, so you saw some behind the scenes stuff there of the wheels and tires getting installed, but here is the finished product kind of all cleaned up and looking nice in the garage. Just take a moment to kind of let it all sink in because I fucking love it. I think they look so great. I am so excited about how they turned out. It's ridiculous. I mean, look at this meat. The meat is just incredible on the back. And I did do a little second gear pull and I can tell you without warming up the tires or anything, they hook a lot better. So uh, I am excited about the way they look, but I'm even more excited to get out there on the track and see how they work. But man, do they look good. And we're gonna talk about the specs here, but I am just blown away by how good, they, I mean, they're just fucking sexy, am I right? I mean, my God. Uh, so these are Forge Line GA13Rs uh, in satin black, and the back is an 18 inch, and the width is 12 and a half, so same uh, width as stock, but the tire is bumped up to a 345 from a 335. Uh, so we're going wider and of course more sidewall, more flex, and a softer compound. So, uh, you know, we got three things there that are going to help for traction and the wheels themselves are a lot lighter, uh, something like 11 pounds, uh, which is going to make a big difference on each, on each wheel. You're definitely going to notice that. So I love the way the backs look. And then for the fronts, I did not want to go with uh, skinnies in the front because I still want this. This is not like a, a drag car only. I still want this to be a fun a handling car, take it on back roads, drive it every day, and you definitely can you definitely can't corner too well uh, with skinnies. But I wanted to help a little bit, so we went from a 285 tire down to a 245, and we dropped from a 19 inch rim uh, down to an 18. So you can, if the wheel is custom spec and it's designed right, you can easily fit these brakes with an 18 inch rim. I know a lot of people on the forums um, are wondering, can I put 18s on the front with the brakes? You definitely can. I mean, you can tell. We have plenty of clearance in there. Hopefully you can see. Um, now, if you have the carbon ceramics, I'm not sure if that would fit with the 18s, but if you have the steel brakes, like I have, uh, definitely fits no problem. So we shaved off, I think about nine pounds in the front. So we're going a little bit uh, more narrow on the tire and a little bit more sidewall. Not that that matters because sidewall only matters on the back, um, but the ride is a little bit nicer too, actually, with these, which is kind of a nice uh, side effect. But anyway, that is the, the specs on the front. And it's an 18 inch uh, by eight and a half. And I think the front uh, stock wheel is, I wanna say nine and a half or 10 inches wide. Uh, so yeah, definitely took off a lot of weight on the front, but um, I, I just love the way they turned out. I think it looks 
just fantastic. It's perfect. And what I really like about it is if you notice, when you look at the side of the car, you can see that you just get like a little bit of poke down here. As you go up, it's totally flush. I mean, it's just perfect. You get a little bit sticking out, which is what I wanted. You know, I wanted a little bit of a, of a meteor kind of more aggressive stance, which I got. And then the front too, even though it's a much smaller wheel and tire, uh, you can see that it does a better job of being flush with this uh, piece here. The stock wheels, yeah, you can see there, it's like perfect. And with the camber, the bottom's even out a little bit. So with the stock wheels, what I didn't like was, especially when I got this new front splitter with this big piece here, the front wheel looked like it was so far in. It was like sunken underneath the car and I hated it. Um, but this actually brings the wheel and tire out a little bit and it just looks fantastic. I mean, look at that. It doesn't look fucking weak anymore. It looks really good. Give you another angle so you can see the fitment, but God damn, does it look good. So I gotta give a huge thank you, a huge thank you, huge Donald Trump thank you to Weapon X Motorsports for making this happen. Uh, I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted when I first called them. I knew I wanted their drag pack. They offer a bunch of different stuff. You can just get the, the rears, you can get the full thing, you can do whatever you want, just the wheels, whatever. But I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted and they walked me through the whole process. So the customer service was great. And once again, just a big thank you to them for uh, making this whole thing come together because the finished product is... I'm nursing a semi. These are of course custom built forge line lightweight wheels with any custom uh, wheel build, you do get a little bit of a lead time, so that's why it took three weeks to get here and the tires were in my house for a while, but it was well worth the wait. And uh, yeah, Forge Line makes a hell of a product. The only shitty part is because I was in such a rush to get these put on the car, as you saw in uh, yesterday's video, that I didn't get to do a burnout, a massive farewell to my stock wheels and tires burnout. Uh, because I just I just didn't have the time so that was unfortunate, but if you look here I mean you, you can't say that I didn't get my use out of them So this is a rear here's a front and it used to have all these grooves and whatnot and now look at it totally <laughs> Just totally fucking flat um, So yeah, I definitely I definitely put these tires uh, through some hell which I'm, I'm proud of that Hey, thank you Stephen Lee from Texas for the two license plates I told you I was gonna throw in random mail time stuff just to keep you on your toes. That is gonna do it for this video and I do want to apologize for the fact that it was just kind of me talking in the garage, but I wanted to uh, share this with you all right away because if you can't tell, I am excited. So let me know what you think of the new wheels and tires. And again, 10,000 likes and I'll put some new towing mirrors on the Dirty Max for my ghost trailer. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Take care. Have a great day. All right, we're going to finish up the video with a little Q&A because in the last Q&A that I did, I only got to like 10 questions and I felt bad about that. So I want to continue. Uh, since I got like uh, 3,000 comments, I figure I should try to get to at least a few more here. And uh, we do have some time. So uh, we're just going to start here. I'm not even going to load all the way to the beginning again. We're just going to start. Uh, here we go. Papi Rico, why did you do the Dirty Max build? Well, I always wanted uh, a built pickup truck. And when I bought the Dirty Max a year and a half ago, it was totally stock. And um, I just wanted to, I wanted it stock when I bought it because I wanted to be the one to build it and uh, to take something and make it totally my own. So that was always uh, something that I wanted to do. And I think that I definitely accomplished that. Isaac7838, when will you be getting a Huracan? Uh, I, I don't think the Huracan is going to be in um, my life, I guess I should say. I don't think, as much as I love the car, I don't see myself buying one because I think the McLarens are just better um, for for being a supercar really they're just better at doing everything that you want a supercar to do at a, a lower price and um, you know the Huracan is great but it's also slow as we know from various videos of mine so I don't I just don't think um, that I'm gonna be getting a Huracan really I think my next step the next uh, step up as far as cars go when I get a supercar it's gonna be a McLaren uh, Grant Byram 7, are you ever going to buy an old Camaro, like a 454? Uh, I don't like old cars. I, I mean, I like them and I appreciate them, but I would never want to own one, so I will not be getting an old classic Camaro. Uh, what size wheels and tires are next? This is from Big Country, and his profile picture is of a truck, so I assume you're talking about the 
uh, Dirty Max. And I don't know, I'm going to stick with 35s for a while, but of course the next step up would be 37s. Psychus Frick, thoughts on the McLaren 720S and the new Porsche GT3? Well, like we just talked about, McLarens, I, they're my favorite supercar brand, and I think the 720 is going to be insane. The, the Huracan Performante, I don't care what anybody says that lap time is bullshit and it might be a legitimate lap time but then it's not a production huracan so there's no way a huracan performante is going to beat a 918 and i think when the 720s comes out it, it once that car can, the thing of it is once the performante gets into the hands of normal people and not even normal people like race car drivers just people who can test it independently everyone's going to find out that the lap time that lambo said was bullshit but i think that when the 720s comes out that's going to just wipe the floor with it so i can't wait to see uh, that mclaren put the lambo in its place uh, the porsche gt3 porsches are in my mind they don't really even compete with the other cars they're just, they're just kind of different you know i would never buy a porsche i'm not a porsche guy and i think for the money you can get so much more but i will say having driven one my brother by the way the one who's in the army um he has a 911 a new uh, 2015 or i think a 20 no i think it's a 2016 911 um and uh, it's a great car and i will say that there is some truth to it when people say there's nothing like driving a porsche um, and the PDK is nuts. I think the PDK is probably the best transmission out there, but for me, a Porsche is just not my thing. A stock GT, when are you gonna race uh, Roush S550? And the, he tagged this person. I guess this guy has a Roush uh, Mustang. I don't know. I mean, if he's in the area or he's gonna be coming to some of the drag events, I'm down to race anybody, win or lose. I'm not the type of guy who like cares about winning. I mean, I wanna win, of course, but um, I've never been been the type to like, oh, I won't race somebody if I think I'm going to lose or these people who like don't say how much horsepower their car has or they race for money and whatnot, which I, I guess I understand, but that's never been my thing. I'm all about having fun. So any race, whether I win or lose, it's fun. I'll do it. Uh, Joe Spagoni, when you get your new Corvette, what is your goal amount of crank horsepower you want it to make when you're done building it up? My new Corvette, uh, the ZR1 is not going to be modified. I mean, I say that, <laughs> we'll see if that actually uh, stays true. Um, this car, originally, when I bought it, as many of you will know if you've uh, followed the channel for a long time, uh, I said that I would not be modifying this car, and of course, look where we are now. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a slippery slip. It's, it's quite literally worse uh, than a drug habit. So we'll see. I'm sure that I'll end up doing something, but for the moment, uh, I have no plans to modify a new car. Zach Gregory, 2015, when you solid axle swap the Dirty Max, any thoughts on lifting it more? Yeah, that would be, uh, if the truck, if I keep it where it's at right now, I wouldn't do a front axle swap, a solid swap in the front. Um, but if I do want to lift it more, that's why I would do the axle. So if I'm going to do one, it's going to have both, if that makes, if that makes sense. Uh, Gustavo Bra, will you ever come to Dixon, California? I have no idea where Dixon, California is, but I'd love to travel there uh, this season. Nick and I and, and Troy, too, I think we're trying to plan uh, some type of like trip throughout the country. So California will be a stop. Uh, Brenadad James, why don't you talk more about your guns? Uh, just because this is a car channel, I include them uh, from time to time. But it's not something that I want to like get into a whole thing. Like this is a car channel. That's what I want this to be. I don't want it to be a gun channel, but I, I do include it, um, you know, here and there because I, I think people enjoy it in small doses. Uh, Danny still likes cars. Will you ever plan to review a car? I don't do car reviews. I used to when I first uh, started making videos and uh, I just, it's not my thing anymore. I love doing the, the vlogs that I do now because it's just, it's so much fun for me to have the freedom to do whatever I want. You know, I just wake up, get the camera and go. And uh, that's really fun for me. I don't want like a formatted video anymore. I don't want to do that kind of thing. Uh, Dillinger 4808, what is your insure a month for the Z06? I assume you mean insurance. My insurance for this car is 480 something dollars. So just a, just about 500 bucks. J Tellerico 14, how many different firearms do you own? I own five different firearms. Uh, Mason J Cox, what's your favorite Dodge vehicle? That would be uh, I'd have to say the Viper, I think. The Viper ACR is just fucking, it's a great car. Uh, CF Bruner, what do you mean by riding through Mexico in your videos? What do you mean by riding through Mexico? Black Cherry Diesel, if you were to lose everything, money, vet, <laughs> Dirty Max house, etc., what would you do? To, what would you do to get back up? What the hell was that? A Jeep? That was pretty loud for a Jeep. What would you do to get back up again? Uh, well, I think that, I, I mean... It's hard to answer because I would never allow myself to be in that position. But what would I do? I would just start from scratch. You know, you just gotta 
get a job, save up money, and uh, be smart about it. That's uh, really all. It is. I mean, if you're if you're a smart person, or not even smart, if you're just capable and you're willing to work and you're willing to learn, there's no reason why anybody's going to be homeless or anything like that. Now, some people that are homeless obviously have you know mental problems. There's a lot of reasons why someone could be homeless, but uh, people that claim they can't find a job and all this and that. I mean, come on, we all know that's bullshit. Uh, you guys have any ideas for the new episode of Third Gear? I'm definitely enjoying what you guys are doing. Our next episode of Third Gear is going to be some type of off-road challenge, and we're still kind of thinking about ideas there, but it's going to be really fun. If they come out with a mid-engine Corvette, would you buy it? Absolutely. More questions about guns. Bash MX, thoughts on college? College's uh, education is extremely important, whether that be uh, more conventional education like college or whether it be learning on your own. Either way is fine. You know, I, I find it funny when people complain about, oh, I wasn't taught this in school. Well then fuck, go out and learn it. I see a question here and I, I've gotten a lot of these so I'm going to uh, address it and that is, do you conceal carry? I do not. I've never found the need to. Um, I take my gun on trips and, and such but I, I don't carry a gun all the time. I think it's a lot of trouble that um, it's just it's just not necessary, but uh, I can understand why some people choose to do that But a lot of a lot of the people that do that a lot of them and of course this isn't all but a lot of them are like these like Billy badass types and they're like, oh, I'm gonna be John Wayne and the fucking and it's it's a whole thing and It's just kind of like dude. What are you doing? That, that's kind of in my opinion, especially the guys who like have it open and, and it's this whole thing so uh, I don't find it necessary but I do understand why some people choose uh, to do that and I think that's going to do it for the questions because we're at about 10 minutes now and we talked about college we talked about guns we talked about cars everything you need in life so I hope that you enjoyed this video once again take care have a great day